Welcome traders. In this video, I'll show you a trading strategy that works like magic. And it's even more awesome because we're using a premium indicator that should not be free on TradingView. This indicator gives you signals that are almost always right. I will explain the complete strategy using this indicator in detail. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. So this is what our chart is going to look like when we are done setting up our indicators. I'm going to be explaining this strategy in detail. So for that, let's first of all remove these indicators from the chart. I will show you guys how to set up your chart from the beginning. So first of all, let's open the indicators tab and add our first and main indicator to the chart. We will search for the sentiment range MA indicator and add this one created by Chart Prime to the chart. This indicator is 100% free. This is not a simple moving average indicator. For those who don't know, a moving average of a price is an essential technical analysis tool. It can determine the market's trend and act as support and resistance. Most of you are already aware of this indicator, but this MA indicator I have found should not be free as this is 10 times more accurate than a regular moving average. And you will see for yourselves in the later parts of the video. This technical analysis tool can be used for trading cryptocurrencies stocks, futures, and forex pairs. And also the most optimal time frames for this indicator are 5 minute, 15 minutes, 1 hour, and 4 hours. As you can see, this indicator offers a dynamic view of market activity emphasizing stability. A key feature of this indicator is its ability to remain consistent in ranging markets filtering out noise to provide a clearer view of the market. The indicator shows three market phases bullish market, bearish market, and consolidation market or ranging market. Now you can easily detect market trends and minimize losses in a range zone. What makes this indicator more accurate than the regular MA is that it has more complex calculations than a regular moving average, which means the sentiment range MA gives more accurate signals. Now, let's access the settings for this indicator. In the input section of the settings, you can customize the moving average length and sensitivity. I personally prefer setting the length at 40. The main purpose of the double filter is to smooth out the moving average. I recommend setting trigger smoothing to 5 instead of 4. Customizing the range multiplier can affect how the MA reacts to price changes. The higher the number, the less sensitive the indicator becomes to trends. For example, if we set this number to 10, the indicator will become more precise in identifying the market range and you can see how smooth the line has become. Another super useful feature this indicator has is multiple time frame price analysis. If we scroll all the way down, we can see a time frame option to check the market bias on higher time frames. Simply select a 4 hour or daily chart. And these are going to be all the suitable settings for this indicator. By the way, if you don't feel like analyzing prices yourself, you can join my free telegram group. Here I share daily the buy and sell positions I open. The link is in the description below this video. Now we know how this indicator functions, so let's build a profitable trading strategy around it. For this strategy, we will need to apply two more indicators to the chart. So let's open the indicators tab again and search for parabolic SAR with algorithm and alerts. Make sure you add this indicator made by Lonesome the Blue to the chart. This easy to read indicator gives buy and sell signals based on the market's volatility. With the help of our magic moving average, we can easily cancel the majority of fake signals given by this indicator. The general rule says that we buy in an uptrend, and we will sell in a downtrend, and cancel all signals during a range market. If we follow these rules closely, there are very less chances of a false signal. These two indicators together can already make you profitable. However, I want you to increase your odds of success even further. That's why let's add a third indicator to our setup. So we will again open the indicators tab and search for multi time frame supply and demand zones and then click on this indicator created by Lenny Carew. This new supply and demand indicator was released a couple of weeks ago and not many traders know about this yet. Any trading strategy is incomplete without supply and demand principles and we cannot blindly rely on buy and sell indicators alone even if they're really good. On the other hand, combining indicators with advanced price action techniques can really enhance your trading decision making. Now let's quickly see what settings we're going to use for this indicator. And then after that, we will go through the complete rules for entering a buy and sell trade using all of these indicators. In its inputs, this indicator has two timeframes available for customization. 
we will disable time frame 2 for our strategy. This will keep the charts neat. Then in the time frame 1 settings, we will enable the 2 hour time frame. If you trade on shorter time frames, like 5 and 15 minutes, it is recommended to use a 1 hour time frame for supply and demand. Once you're finished with the settings, click OK. Finally, I will quickly change my chart to 1 hour time frame because the settings I have shown are for a 1 hour time frame. Now that our setup has been built, let's go through the exact rules for opening buy and sell trades using this strategy. So for a buy trade to be valid, first of all, you must ensure there is an upward trend in the market. An upward trend is present when the price is moving above our MA indicator and the line is green. Remember, the moving average should be at least two time frame higher than the current time frame. This way we can make sure the long-term bias is strong. So if the trend is positive, it's time to wait for a buy signal. Just like this one we have got here. Finally, we will make sure we buy near a demand zone. Never buy at the price at which everyone sells. This simple yet powerful principle will save you a ton of money. So as all the rules are fulfilled, I opened a buy position here. We will set the stop loss below the parabolic SAR dots, which will be right here. And we will target a minimum of two times the risk. You can even target supply levels, but that totally depends on you. As you can see, this was a pretty good profitable trade. Now let's go through one more buy trade example. Here we can see the market is in an uptrend and we got a buy signal where the market is also in the demand zone. So I will open a buy position here. I will set our stop loss below the dots of this indicator. And let's see if the market will hit our take profit target. I hope you have understood the rules for entering a buy trade. Now, let's go through the rules for entering a sell trade using this strategy. By the way, if you don't feel like analyzing prices yourself, you can join my free Telegram group. Here I share daily the buy and sell positions I open. The link is in the description below this video. So first of all, for a sell trade, we want to make sure the market is in a downtrend. Now it's time to wait for a sell signal. In order to confirm the signal given by the parabolic SAR, we will check if the price is close to a supply level. Never open a sell position if the price is near a demand level. So these are the simple rules for entering a sell trade using this strategy. We will set the stop loss above the parabolic SAR dots and target a risk to reward ration of two. I hope you have understand this trading strategy. If you have any interesting ideas or indicators, please write them down in the comments and also be sure to backtest this. If you found this video interesting, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching the video till the end. I'll see you guys in the next video.